All right, students. So far, we discussed about your Z drugs. So Z drugs, they, they usually do not alter your sleep cycle, but uh, they are not the drug of choice for as much as the exam is concerned. They are not the drug of choice for insomnia. As much as the exam is concerned, drug of choice for insomnia always goes for your benzodiazepines. Okay. So I told you about uh, many interesting aspects. So I'd like to give you pharmacokinetic uh, related uh, introduction here. So, in the pharmacokinetic chapter, I was teaching you people about the metabolism. Remember? Metabolism. Now, when I'm talking about metabolism of a drug, when I'm talking about metabolism of a drug, doctors, it's very easy to understand. We have an active drug. We have an active drug which gets metabolized into inactive drug. Which gets metabolized into inactive drug. Okay? There is one more possibility that is that there is an active drug. There is an active drug which will give one more important thing. What is that? Active metabolite. What is that? Active metabolite. Active metabolite means what? So, it is a product of this drug, but still it has a, it has a pharmacological action that is called as active metabolite. Okay. Now, when I am talking about active drug, jo active metabolite ko banata hai, uske liye classic examples, they glow. these are the very important ones. They might ask you in question, they might ask you in exam. So, we have a drug called as diazepam. Diazepam. Okay. जब डायाजपाम की बात हुई, डायाजपाम will give a active metabolite, डायाजपाम will give a active metabolite, the name of that active metabolite, डायाजपाम giving a active metabolite, that is called as oxyzapam, that is called as oxyzapam, that is called as oxyzapam. Apart from that, apart from that, my dear students, I want you people to understand, we have, we were discussing about opioids, remember? We were discussing about opioids. So, when we were discussing about opioids, when we were discussing about opioids, uh, my dear students, uh, codeine is there, right? Codeine. So, this codeine, which is used for dry cough treatment, uh, okay? So, usually codeine is banned now. So, instead of codeine for the dry cough, dextromethorphan is prescribed these days. But uh, codeine gives an active metabolite uh, that is called as morphine, that is called as morphine. So, I would consider easily a low codeine PK. हाई हो जाते हैं नशे हो जाते हैं इसलिए क्योंकि वो मार्फिन बनाता है बॉडी के अंदर जाने के बाद ठीक है तो दिस इज अबाउट योर एक्टिव ड्रग गिविंग ए एक्टिव मेटाबॉलाइट एंड द लास्ट एस्पेक्ट इज दैट द ड्रग इज इनएक्टिव आउटसाइड ऑफ द बॉडी एंड इट विल गो इनटू द बॉडी एंड इट विल गिव ए एक्टिव ड्रग इट विल गिव ए एक्टिव ड्रग दिस आर योर प्रो ड्रग्स दिस आर योर प्रो ड्रग्स सो दिस इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ योर व्हाट इज दैट दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ योर pharmacokinetics dynamics related aspect okay so once we are done with that once we are done with that let's continue proceed and understand about what is that anti-epileptics my dear students what is that anti-epileptics okay so when i'm talking about anti-epileptics so there are lots of uh, lots of mcqs here so let's get to those anti-epileptics and, and and mcq oriented points so my dear students uh, we need to understand about something called as a seizure. Seizure. What is seizure? Seizure is basically, my dear students, seizure is basically a abnormal, abnormal. What is abnormal? Abnormal neuronal discharge. Abnormal neuronal discharge. If there is an abnormal neuronal discharge, abnormal neuronal discharge, that means what? That means there is an abnormal firing of the neuron. So, this firing of the neuron can occur in one part of the brain or maybe one hemisphere of the brain. So, that is possible. Based on that, we have multiple types of seizures. Yes or no? So, that multiple types of seizures can there. Up logo, from medicine side, you people should be knowing the types of seizures. What are those? We have, we have, what is that? Generalized GBCS, generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Okay. We have myoclonic seizures. We have myoclonic seizures, okay. We have any other type, yes, by some absent seizure, absent seizures, okay. Then we have focal, focal especially what? Focal especially like parental, okay, parental area, sirf or sirf, parental area is getting fired, okay. Now, any time, if there is a seizure, my dear students, if this seizure occurs repeatedly, if there is a seizure which is happening repeatedly, repeated seizures if they are there continuously persistent chronic period of time then we will call it as a epilepsy so what is epilepsy epilepsy is a chronic seizure disorder that's a simplified definition but you get into internal medicine you get into lots of stuff about the 
in seizure seizure disorders okay so when i'm talking about seizures seizures can be caused by multiple aspects okay seizures can be caused by multiple aspects one of the most common causes idiopathic stroke can cause seizures yes some vitamin deficiencies can cause seizures yes in children fever can cause seizures febrile seizures yes high severe hypocalcemia can cause seizures so any of these conditions which can lead to seizure but uh, if these seizures for example let's take out a condition that is idiopathic that is what idiopathic in nature when i'm talking about a idiopathic uh, suddenly the patient gets seizure today five days is fine next uh, again is getting seizure again he'll be fine again is getting seizure so this occurs repeatedly then we'll be considering it as what uh, epilepsy so any time a patient comes to you with seizure i'm just giving an introduction but you need to understand any time patient comes to you with a seizure you need to rule out all the possible causes for the seizures okay so that is a complete a large workup should be done why because there might be a stroke which is causing seizure okay that is possibility apart from that apart from that for example there are some acute conditions which is causing seizure yes that is possibility or if you ruled out everything nothing is possible nothing is found then you call it as a idiopathic in nature so that's how we call it as idiopathic before doing a workup if you call it as idiopathic then that would be called as a down diagnosis so we should not do that okay so with this much being said let's understand about uh, let's get back to our farm so when i'm talking about pharmacology side my dear students look here earlier i was talking about something called as gaba what was that gaba gaba is a inhibitory neurotransmitter gaba is a inhibitory neurotransmitter to the central nervous system and we have one more neurotransmitter such as glycine and glutamate glycine and glutamate okay now this glycine and glutamate these are what they are a stimulatory neurotransmitter they are a stimulatory neurotransmitter to the seizures okay now when i want to treat a seizure so let's put everything in order what was seizure seizure was a abnormal firing of the neuron if there is a abnormal firing of the neuron either either stimulatory neurotransmitter activity is more that is a possibility or or inhibitory activity inhibitory neurotransmitter is lesser iska matlab kya hai bahut simple hai gaba jo gaba hai na gaba inhibit karta hai tumhara cns ko agar cns ko inhibit karne wala wo kam ho gaya to bhi seizure aa sakta hai ya jo cns ko stimulate karne wala zyada ho gaya tab bhi seizure aa sakta hai so we need to maintain them in a balance that's how we are trying to treat the epilepsy so when we are trying to treat the epilepsy till now you people used to understand one picture if any time a person draws a neuron matlab hamara panda itna hi tha ki do neuron ko draw kar dete do neuron ko aisa draw kar dete hain and we used to continue tumhara cns mein aisa koi rule hai hi nahi ki sirf do hi neuron synapse banaye bhai sahab aise side mein koi dusra neuron nahi to baitha hoga aisa baitha hoga so this is a type of possibility yes yes three neurons can make a synapse okay that can look here so one of them is a gaba neuron one of them is a gaba neuron what is gaba neuron basically it is a inhibitory neuron and this one is what this is a neuron which is mediated by your glycine mediated by your glycine so glycine is stored inside a vesicle glycine is stored where inside a vesicle now on this vesicle we have special protein on this vesicle ek special protein hota hai isko yaad rakho iska kaam bahut zyada hai hum log wapas aayenge iske upar what is the name of this protein sv2a the name of this protein is sv2a kaam pe hai vesicle ke upar hai okay now somehow this neuron got stimulated okay stimulate ho bhi gaya स्टिमुलेट हो गया तो क्या हुआ इट विल रिलीज द ग्लाइसिन जब ग्लाइसिन रिलीज होगा व्हेन ग्लाइसिन इज रिलीज्ड इनटू द सायनाप्टिक लेफ्ट तो क्या होगा होगा क्या सो लेट्स चेक whether we are recording or not okay we are recording perfect so when glycine is released it will act upon the receptor it will act upon the glycine receptor okay so glycine receptors are named as two things what are those nmda receptor nmda receptor 
and one more thing called as AMPA receptor, NMDA and AMPA receptor. Consider one of them is your NMDA receptor, okay, and another one is your AMPA receptor, AMPA receptor. Now, what exactly we are talking here? We are talking about the NMDA receptor, NMDA receptor and AMPA receptor. These are basically again ion channels, my dear students. So these are basically what ion channels. So if there are ion channels, so which ion channels? Basically, your AMPA, AMPA is a calcium ion channel, and NMDA is a sodium ion channel. So when your glycine acts, sodium will come inside and calcium will also come inside. Once sodium and calcium comes inside, by some positive ions came inside. So the polarity of the cell is lost. Lost means what? depolarized from resting membrane potential to depolarization so the new the neuron is excited wow okay but one more thing is for break down naked is for break down naked side make we bite out why a con a which will be a hump a side may be have one more receptor that is your GABA receptor. So GABA receptor is what? Whenever GABA is GABA receptor is stimulated, allow the influx of chloride ions cause the cell to undergo hyperpolarization and suppressing the central nervous system activity. So the end summary is what? GABA is a breaking, मतलब break डालने वाला है. So it's like a break. And uh, this glycine is what? Glycine is like an accelerator for your central nervous system. So if we know this much, if we know this much, my dear students, either for seizure, for treatment of seizure, the target treatment of seizure is what? The target treatment of seizure or whatever is there, it is very simplified way. Either target, target ko bana lo pehle, aim, aim bana lo, tab bhi ame samaj aega very easily, thik hai? So target kya hai? Either increase the GABA activity, ठीक है और इधर डिक्रीज द ग्लाइसिन एक्टिविटी खत्म हो गया कहानी कैसे करना है तो कैसे करेंगे उसको सो गाबा एक्टिविटी को बढ़ाने के लिए गाबा एक्टिविटी को बढ़ाने के लिए वी कैन यूज बेंजोडाइजोपिन्स वी कैन यूज बेंजो diazepines okay now when i'm talking about benzodiazepines versus epilepsy my dear students i would like to give you one important point here so patient who is having a status epilepticus status epilepticus epilepticus okay and one more thing status epilepticus is slightly different from one more thing that is called as what that is called as an active seizure that is called as an active seizure so most of the students think that status epilepticus is nothing but active seizure no status epilepticus is little bit different so let me make you people understand okay so for example let's look here 9 a.m 9 a.m patient got a seizure 9 a.m patient got a seizure and after that 9 5 a.m 9 5 a.m patient got second seizure patient got second seizure so kab kab hoa tha no baj ek aya tha and and no baj ke panch minute ke baad me ek aya tha between this time between the 9 am to 9 5 means between two consecutive seizure between two consecutive seizure if the patient do not regain the consciousness do not regain the consciousness regain kya hai consciousness between what between two consecutive seizure that is called as your status epilepticus okay and active seizure kya tumar aankhon ke taraf samne patient ko seizure aa rahe maybe gtcs generalized tonic clonic seizure so that is the time where we use a benzodiazepine the benzodiazepine which we use use in the clinical practice is little bit different from what we learn in the textbook as much as your exam is concerned the benzodiazepine of choice for this both condition that is your lorazepam that is your lorazepam but but when you are in a clinical practice especially in a government hospitals lorazepam instead of lorazepam we use midazolam we use midazolam so this is the story of your benzodiazepine related okay apart from that gaba ergic drugs me pehle gaba ergic drugs pura khatam kar dete hai we can have we can use what are those exactly the drugs which increase the availability of gaba that is your pregabalin pregabalin 
okay and one more thing that is your gaba pentine can be considered in seizure but seizure may use karte hai nahi karte hai to kahan pe gaba pentine or these things ko use karte hai as i said earlier neuropathy is may which neuropathy preferably diabetic neuropathy diabetic neuropathy may favorite kaun si hai प्रेगाबालिन है हो गया वो सीजर में क्यों आया क्योंकि दैट वाज इंक्रीजिंग द गाबार्जिक एक्टिविटी तो एंटी एपिलेप्टिक्स में आ गया बट इजी कट ऑल तो प्रॉपर टाइम भी लेट्स बी मूव ग्लाइसिन के ठीक है ग्लाइसिन को हटा देते हैं गाबार्जिक के बारे में बात करते हैं वी कैन यूज माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यस बिगाबैट्रिन एंड टिगाबेन कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड बिगाबैट्रिन एंड टिगाबेन व्हाट इज बिगाबैट्रिन आई ऑलरेडी टॉट यू पीपल बिगाबैट्रिन क्या होता है भाई साहब बिगाबैट्रिन इज अ ड्रग गाबा ट्रांसमिनेस इनहिबिटर और कौन सी है टिगाबाइन टिगाबाइन क्या होता है टिगाबाइन इज ए गैट वन इनहिबिटर व्हाट इज गैट वन गैट वन इज ए गाबा का ट्रांसपोर्टर उसको इनहिबिट कर रहे हैं हम लोग दैट इज योर टिगाबाइन दीस आर द गाबार्जिक ड्रग्स व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एपिलेप्सी तो आगे बढ़ते हैं थोड़ा तो आगे बढ़ने में क्या सीखना चाहिए सो वी हैव सोडियम चैनल ग्लाइसिन था ग्लाइसिन वाज एक्टिवेटिंग इधर सोडियम चैनल को एक्टिवेट कर रहा था या नहीं तो कैल्शियम चैनल को एक्टिवेट कर रहा था ये यूजुअली दोनों को एक्टिवेट कर रहा था तो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द ड्रग्स व्हिच इनहिबिट सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर व्हिच आर सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर भाई साहब ये एंटी अरिथमिक का सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर नहीं है बट सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स ऑफ योर सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम वी आर टॉकिंग ओके यूजुअली इन द एंटी अरिथमिक क्लास 1 एंटी अरिथमिक्स आल्सो योर सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स ठीक है तो नाउ लुक हियर नाउ लुक हियर द सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स व्हाटएवर वी हैव इन आवर आर्सेनल द ड्रग्स इंक्लूड द ड्रग्स इंक्लूड कार्बमाक्सिपिन पहले ड्रग्स के बारे में लिख लेते फिर बताऊंगा कि इसको कब क्या करना चाहिए ओके वी हैव कार्बमाक्सिपिन ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम कार्बमाक्सिपिन वी हैव ऑक्स कार्बमाक्सिपिन ऑक्स कार्बमाक्सिपिन ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑक्स कार्बमाक्सिपिन और क्या है और क्या है वी हैव ड्रग्स सच एज टोपिरामेट 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 के अलावा वी डू हैव समथिंग एल्स यस वी डू हैव सम अदर कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज Zonisamide, that is called as my dear students, zonisamide, zonisamide, zonisamide के अलावा भी है one more drug, the drug कौन सी है? That is called as lamotrigine, that is called as lamotrigine by सब क्या है? Lamotrigine. So these are your what? These are your sodium channel block. ठीक है? Sodium channel को ये क्यों block करे? Let's block the calcium channel also. So we can have a calcium channel blocker. फिर से कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉक कर ये एंटी अरिथमिक नहीं है भाई साहब वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दीस ड्रग्स व्हिच आर योर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक्स इन द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम सो द एंटी द एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग्स व्हिच आर व्हाट व्हिच आर यूज्ड इनसाइड व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन इन वेयर इन द कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉक कर यूज्ड इन द एपिलेप्सी दैट इंक्लूड योर फिनाइटोइन फिनाइटोइन ओके फिनेटोइन के अलावा फिनेटोइन के अभी हाँ वन मोड रख दे इस पार्ट में ये तो सक समय वो इस डेट ये तो सक समय ये तो सक समय ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम ये तो सक समय जोनी समय इस ए स्ट्रॉंग जोनी समय इस व्हाट इस ए स्ट्रॉंग कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर तो कई ड्रग दोनों को भी ब्लॉक कर रहे हैं नोटिस कर we can have calcium plus sodium channel blocker calcium and sodium channel blocker so the drugs which are calcium and sodium channel blockers may the classic drug which i want you people to know that is your that is your most important drug that is your sodium valproate what is that sodium sodium valproate sodium Valproate. Valproate क्या करता है? It blocks both sodium and calcium channels. ठीक है? This is one way to classify the drugs. Okay. यार mechanism के हिसाब से तो हो गया. But examiner mechanism को लेके पूछेगा तो he's more interested कौन कौन सी drug को कब use करोगे? क्या करोगे? Etc. Etc. Now, now my dear students, I would like to discuss with you people one important drug. One important drug that is called as that is called as ESV. 
मतलब क्या करता है ये प्रोटीन को ब्लॉक कर देता है प्रोटीन को ब्लॉक कर देता है विच इज वेयर ऑन द साइनाप्टिक वेसाइकल यहाँ पे जो एस वी टू ए था एस वी टू ए था इसको ब्लॉक करने से क्या होता है इफ इट इज ब्लॉक्ड माय डियर स्टूडेंट देर इज नो रिलीज ऑफ ग्लाइसिन देर इज नो रिलीज ऑफ व्हाट रिलीज ऑफ ग्लाइसिन अगर ग्लाइसिन रिलीज ही नहीं हुआ तो सीजर नहीं आएगा सो इट प्रिवेंट द सीजर इट प्रिवेंट द सीजर सो इफ इट इज प्रिवेंट इन द सीजर द ड्रग विच वी हैव इन आर आर्सनल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द लेविटेरी सिटैम लेविटेरी सिटैम दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग वट इज दैट एस वी टू ए ठीक है लेविट्रेसिटम लेविट्रेसिटम मतलब क्या होता है न्यूट्रोपिक एजेंट इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग दट इंक्रीज द ब्रेन मेटाबोलिज्म ब्रेन का एक्टिविटी को बढ़ाता है उसको बोलते हैं पायरासिटम ठीक है पायरासिटम एंड पैरासिटम आर डिफरेंट थिंग लेविट्रेसिटम एंड पैरासिटम आल्सो डिफरेंट थिंग है इसका मतलब नहीं है कि अब लेविट्रेसिटम और पैरासिटम एक ही है वो भी अलग अलग ही है ठीक है सो दिस इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ योर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक्स विद मेकैनिज्म So once we understood about the mechanism, I would like few people to understand some important facts here. Okay, what is that important fact here? So you can make a screenshot of this picture, which I am going to show you now. This is the authentic picture, which is collected from the latest version of KD three party textbook. So there is no no arguments to be done here. There is no arguments to be done here. This is the authentic picture because I am pretty sure many people would have studied some old syllabus, something that this and that. फिर से आओगे आर्ग्यूमेंट करोगे नहीं भाई साहब ये प्रॉपर प्रॉपर केडी त्रिपाठी से अपडेटेड अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन है सो सिंस इट इज ए अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स लुक यू ये बता ले पेशेंट इज हैविंग ए पार्शियल सीजर व्हाट इज दैट पार्शियल सीजर द ड्रग व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड इज कार्बमोसेपिन द ड्रग कैन बी यूज्ड इज कार्बमोसेपिन कार्बमोसेपिन नहीं है तो लेमोट्रिजिन करो या वैलप्रोइड यूज करो ऑक्स का यूज करो कोई बात नहीं बट द फर्स्ट लाइन का रिस्पांस है फर्स्ट लाइन ऑलवेज कार अगर जीडीसीएस जनरलाइज्ड टोनिक क्लोनिक सीजर है भाई साहब सीधा दे दो वाल क्या दोगे सीधा दे दो वाल अगर एब्सेंट सीजर है इफ देयर इज ए एब्सेंट सीजर राइट डाउन इफ देयर इज ए एब्सेंट सीजर माय डियर स्टूडेंट इफ एज इज लेस देन 2 इयर्स एब्सेंट सीजर सर कब दिखता है सीन ओनली काम पे इन चिल्ड्रन ठीक है तो ये कंप्लेंट भी कैसा आता है ये अगर मेडिसिन में मिस हो जाएगा तो फिर फंस जाओगे सुन लो अच्छे से ठीक है तो क्या होगा ना बच्चा ऐसा बैठा तो अचानक से ही गेट्स सीजर नाउ ही गेट्स सीजर मींस ही इज नॉट हैविंग एनी जर्किंग मोमेंट्स और एनीथिंग नथिंग ही विल बी लाइक यू नो आउट लाइक यू नो टीचर विल बी टीचिंग बट विल गो ब्लैंक लाइक दिस फॉर फ्यू सेकंड्स एंड लेटर ही विल बी फाइन नाउ टीचर विल आस्क यू व्हाट He doesn't know. He doesn't remember because he's having absence seizure. This episode can happen multiple times, ten, twenty times a day. Yes, that is possible. So, अब क्या होगा? Teacher बताएगी किसको? Mummy को कि तुम्हारा बेटा ध्यान नहीं देता है. बेटा ध्यान क्यों नहीं दे रहा था? क्योंकि उसको बिचारे को absence seizure था. तो mummy क्या किया? तो पहले डॉक्टर के पास ले आई डॉक्टर साहब ऐसा हो रहा है कि अटेंशन नहीं दे पा रहा है सो दे विल गिव यू ए क्लासिक सेट ऑफ कंप्लेंट द चाइल्ड इज अनेबल टू पे अटेंशन इन द क्लास and these episodes happen multiple times and this is called as a absent seizure and if that is noticed see those are me to close class mein join nahi karenge but still if that is noticed if the child age is less than 2 years then you go for what my dear students e to saksamayed e to saksamayed but if the child's age is more than 2 years and a absent seizure go for valproate go for valproate theek hai then myoclonic seizure valproate atonic seizure valproate agar febrile seizure aaya bhai sab febrile seizure aaya to febrile seizure is seen in children of course so febrile seizure is seen in children to febrile seizure ke liye agar if the patient is having seizure in front of your eyes de do diazepam theek hai but is it the diazepam is it the end of the story no treat the fever treat the Fever, treat the fever. That should be your target. Okay, that's how you need to do. And if there is a stertus epilepticus, the best drug is lorazepam. 
in travels if it's an emergency okay apart from that there are more important more important things to it in the in the epilepsy let me come i gave you a drug of choice ka list bata diya maine drug of choice ka list to maine bata diya but let's come back and learn here if at all see if at all a person is having if at all a person is having what is that that is your seizures so pregnancy ko dekh pregnancy ko so if there is a pregnant female if she is having seizure this is very complicated scenario which you will get confused from pharma and benipot so kya karna chahiye usko pura hd clarity what is into it full hd clarity what is that fhd clarity full hd clarity very simple if at all she is having a epilepsy if the female is having a epilepsy she is a diagnosed case of epilepsy even before pregnancy even before pregnancy even before pregnancy even before pregnancy guys actually what happened i was recording beech mein aisa hua ki recording ruk gaya tha so let me make sure that recording ho raha hai ki nahi